Konbanami, welcome. It's the Saturday stream, and yesterday I planned on doing a World Warship stream, but sadly, everything seemed to fuck up, so thanks, Steam. Um, in any case, today we're going to be doing the Smasher Pass stream, as I have been posted on Twitter for pretty much the entirety of this week. And yeah, I have 75 VTubers in total. And some of them are also just viewers that send in something as a joke, and we are we already know where they're gonna end up, but that's fine. Thank you all so much for dropping by. I really appreciate everybody who came to the stream. I see that there is nine of you here. That's insane. Um, this will be a relatively easy stream, and later tonight we'll probably play some more Minecraft. So there might be two streams tonight. So look forward to that. Um, in any case. I have the list set up and I'll also be reading off names as I go through them because some of the images are not in a one by one aspect ratio, so some of them are cut off and stuff, but you can't really do much about that. Alright, I'll be moving over here. Also joining us we have uh, Kizanari and also uh, Penguin. Hello. Salutations there. Hold on here, let me move us over. All right, all right, all right, all right. I see some of you from the list are here. That's really nice. Thank you, uh, Alpha, for dropping by. Thank you as well, um, Leon, for dropping by. I really appreciate it. All right, we'll just get right into this. Um, I have my list of names down, so I didn't don't forget any of them because some of these are new people. So, okay, first off we have here, we have Crusader, who's in chat. I don't, I don't know Crusader. Deus Volt? <laughs> <laughs> Deus um, Volt, Deus Volt. It's nice and all, but I don't think historically I should be involved. <laughs> yeah, not, not a good idea generally. <laughs> As a spirit, oh, I feel like... Really cool names in there. I feel like your uh, religious in religious inquiries would be a bit rough on me. So I'll I would say we should just be friends. <laughs> <laughs> just um, friends. Just... Next tier we have uh, Prince of Rage ninety six, who is a VTuber. Um, they are the fallen remnants. Our lands have fallen from war and strife. Come join us. So it looks like they have a fantasy sort of war based lore. Sorry, I thought yeah. something a bit more like Sin of Wrath, kind of like that. Yeah, their design is very. Yeah. There's horns, uh, blonde in the front, and black hair in the back, which is. It's a very different. nice aesthetic. It's a very nice aesthetic. They have a tattoo on their neck, and the outfit they wear is sort of... It's like a leather jacket, sort of like... I don't know, sort of like a biker's jacket. Oh, yeah. Sick. I like it. And they also... I don't know if they have a tail or not. I don't see much art. Mm. I will assume that they do, since they are a demon. I'd say maybe on a good day. Water and fire don't mix. <laughs> That's I'd, very true. I'd be a bit alarmed. Okay. This next person has been uh, watching me for quite a while now. This is uh, Mr. Pog. And they're a gremlin. Um, their design... Yeah, Mr. I Pog and the Gremlin. That <laughs> for some weird reason, I feel that's very appropriate. Yeah, they got legs. Legs for days. Legs for days, baby. <laughs> legs for days. Yeah, their legs are twice as tall as the rest of their body. So I don't you know. love to see it. You love to see it. <laughs> All right. Next up here, we have. 
this guy where is he have to scroll up and down through this okay angel tm it looks like from their bio a nerd who likes to go to different worlds and try to help people out in any way i can it looks like they're a researcher basically based on their lore how is he not in your bed already I know they've been around for a bit now. They've been around since I've been streaming over on Twitch and stuff. So they've been watching me for a while. Their design, I think they draw all their own stuff. I don't, I haven't seen anything. They have some pit crews, I guess. Yeah. But yeah. Good. Just because they draw themselves and they don't really spend too much money on art i respect it i'd yeah. i'd go for a that's, date that's mood this next person let's see here who are they okay um crap where is everybody at um scroll back up maybe we're trying to find them there's 75 of them so i keep scrolling up and down okay here we are uh vera magus or magus or i don't know i think it's magus <laughs> How do you say words? They are a magician VTuber who enjoys making new friends and fun challenges and loves playing Yu-Gi-Oh! and Genshin Impact. They play Genshin, that means they're a gambler, which means they are financially ir irresponsible. I don't know if I should be too invested <laughs> just off of that. I'm gonna go away. I, I, I'm an NGO player. I'm leaving. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Their design is pretty cool. I like the jacket and I like the blue sort of like rune aesthetic underneath. They also wear a scarf, but they also wear like the redditor's cap. So I don't know if I should trust them too much. Oh yeah, oh, yeah the fedora. <laughs> <laughs> My lady. Yeah, I would say. Mm -hmm. Maybe on a good day. Yep. That seems fair. Describe a good day. Oh boy. And here we go. This is one of the one of the big people that noticed me. I actually like her content because she does racing stuff. Ooh. Oh. I think her name's Meadori, but I could be wrong. I have something to look because they were in mine as well. Yeah, Midori VR. Um yeah. She just does uh, <clears throat> car stuff and racing, which is cool. I love me some car women. The car women. Yeah. Couple of the rev heads. So yeah, just because they like cars and stuff, they go up at least one tier. And plus their design is really nice. I like their art. And they also have their own uh, VR avatar which is really cool yeah that's that just puts it on a whole other level i like the the bodysuit and the racing flag all the way down the sides yeah i've seen it a couple of times race, on like... other vtubers but i still like the way that it's drawn and plus she's a cat girl so i think i was bonus smash. for the cat ears baby Wood smash. Awesome. Okay, next is Rosie. Correct. Where's her bio? Oh god. There's too many. I should have organized these in order. Yeah, no one's blaming you. Rosie. Yes, she is a cat pirate VTuber. 
She has a lot of koi katsu content. Oh, yeah, that's true. Quality. And it's a lot very... of nice art. I like her hair ornaments. I like the simplicity of some of her outfits. Yeah, I don't have any gripes or anything. I think this is a good wood smash. Alright, this next one. This is a unique one because this is a couple that both put their PNGs in. And this is right here, Snugglesworth. And yeah, uh, it's them and uh, Jesse as well, which is right here. Yeah, so I'll rank these both here. Both of them are very, you know, regular designs, nothing too crazy. Her design, she is a cat girl's cat girl, but also has uh, purple horns. And her hair is black with sort of green highlights. Nothing bad about it. I don't have any gripes. And the uh, same thing goes with Jesse. Uh, they have uh, sort of like a bodysuit mixed with a cardigan. It's just the VR chat avatar, but it looks a little personalized, so that's pretty nice. I think both of them go clean into Wood Smash together. I think they come as a package combo, so it makes sense. Cross the one. Combo combo package. Okay, next one here. This is Grim Vale. Grim Vale. Where is her bio? Okay, um, Grimvale. Is not there. Where? Yeah, here we go. Um, they are a Wendigo. Which is unique. I don't see a lot of uh, monster-based ones off of real-life lore and stuff. Yeah, that's that's a rarity. Their eyes are black with purple irises, and their hair is white. And the rest of their outfit, it sort of follows sort of a imperial like maiden's dress, sort of. It's unique. Yeah, it has a very nice, it has a very nice design. Yeah. It's got the black and white going, it's <laughs> kind of like a penguin. Yeah, and she has really nice ears as well. I like it. And she also wears gloves. That's unique. So, very yeah, design. I think this is good. What would you do? Wood smash. Alright. Of course. What else would you do? <laughs> this next person has amazing artwork, and I'm jealous because I have no idea where the where they got it done. But yeah, Skuna Akechi. They are Oni God King. They're like a demon lord, basically. And yeah, uh, something of a quick buy on my OC, I guess, I, since I never talk about it really. They are 3,144 years old, they are immortal, and looks are deceiving. Used to be a peasant but rose to royal status after a series of life-changing events, so he knows what it's like to be hated and hasn't changed after. They have a very white base with some gray and black mixed in and then the accents of their design are the gold yellowish it's really really nice <laughs> all the colors are very simple but the gold really stands out and gold and white are probably one of the best looking color combinations so i really like their outfit they also have that big jacket with like the fur around the collar 
And some chains. Full bottom jeans, boots with the fur. And they also have a demon sort of battle form, and they have this giant sword. And their colors are also very unique when that's being used. It's sort of like a old manga aesthetic. Overall, I think this is probably one of my favorite designs of any VTuber I've seen lately. I really like to well, find out what more. artists they use. Yeah. I'd say this goes into the top. Okay, next is Kiza. And Awaiting judgment <laughs> patiently. I don't think there's much I haven't said about your design yet. That gets such a big head. <laughs> you have heterochromia, which is always a plus. The Roman toga sort of dress style with gold accents, and you've never really explained before, but what is with like the blue stuff? Ah, what yes, is that? that is basically my flesh has basically melted and become a nebula that I keep solidified as my limbs. Essentially. So are you made out of, like, the constellations or something? Uh, in a way, I suppose you could say that. Okay. It's basically energy that they've transformed into uh, a space nebula. When I transformed. Nebulas are very deadly. <laughs> and also, I know. are those horns? Yes. Okay. You can use them. You can use them as handlebars if you want. Okay. Design's really cool, but I feel like you need lore at some point. <laughs> because there's a lot going on, and I don't really know which part to focus on the most. Yeah. Yeah, and that's pretty much half the character is needing a good story behind it. But overall, Wood Smash. Nice. Okay, this next person oh, is a butler character. Where are they? Right, a uh, Diddy Butler. They are a British wolf butler with DID. They like D&D. Uh, &D. They're a Leo. Yeah. They don't have a lot of info on themselves, but their design's pretty simple, straightforward. They have scars on their arms and stuff adds character they wear gloves very rare and yeah and nothing too unique i would say they fit right in the middle okay this next one everybody knows this one everybody knows penta fox indeed penta, indeed hold the spot uh, emily, uh, emily red knights with me where are you, Penta? Oh goodness, it's not there. Scroll back up. I'm hoping... Fox is a great all-around character. I'm hoping it doesn't delete any of these tweets and hides them from me. Ah, uh, here we go. Penta. They are Fox Spirit and Shapeshifter. They are uh, German and English. Bilingual VTubers are superior. Hey, yeah, I'm almost they bilingual have, though. They have fishnets and their boots are very unique with like sort of uh, cross straps. They have the yeah, they of course have the tramp stamp going on, and they have several different outfit styles. Their ears are very nice, although I don't really understand the weird uh, purple fur on the inside of the red ears. I feel like they're two colors that don't mix the best. But I feel like if, if it was white instead of purple, that would be 
And it'll yeah. be a lot better. I guess this is creative liberty it's a though. Move, then you know, it works for yeah. them. I really like their content. They also have a lot of content on like Koi Katsu and stuff with Rosie. I really like that. It's very nice. Uh, they have a lot of art. Uh, nothing too crazy though. I haven't seen any art that's really wowed me. But yeah, they're very consistent. And yeah, I would smash. Yes. Alright, this is... Windy. Yeah, here we go. Uh, they are... They don't have any info on themselves, but it looks like their character is an angel. With uh, two different colored wings instead of eyes, which is unique. They have uh, just a regular hoodie and it looks like jeans for their outfit. Purple, purple, pink hair with burgundy-ish eyes. I don't know any of the story, so I can't really say much, but I'd say they fit right in the middle. I feel like lore makes a big part of the character. Okay, this next person I know. They're my friend. Where is your picture so I can read your bio? Yeah, here we go. Iowa Verona. Uh, they're made VTuber. Um, yeah, that's all I saw on their character. Um, but yeah, as far as their personality goes, they're really curious and also very kind. They're very, very... Uh, from what I know, I don't know how much... I'm allowed to say about them because I don't know what's private or not. So they're really cool. And also tanned and black anime girls and VTubers, they're pretty pog. I would smash. Very good mix for us. I wish my dog would shut up. I don't know why my family decided to put them up when they know they'd bark, but that's fine. Alright, next one Ayura. is Pulkin76, and they also have a hibiscus flower in their hair. Hibiscus is better than cherry blossoms, fight me. Um, they don't have a lot of info on their character at all. Which, again, without much lore or anything in their bio to go off of, I don't really know what their content is. So, yeah. That's pretty much. Uh, all I know is that apparently their VTuber is a personified plant. Wow. Which is cool. I don't see okay. many plant VTubers. And yeah, that's, yeah true. that's cool. You'd expect something like a dryer to come out like very often, but doesn't. That's that's I've heard of a few unique ones that should exist that don't. So you know, you get your rarities. Just because they don't have any, like, any lore or anything written, and also the tattoo on the hand is a bit weird, I'll say they go in the middle. Okay, okay. Okay, uh, next. I saw this person, and their 3D art is really nicely rendered. Uh, Altaria. Oh yes, Altaria, yes. Altaria Demon. Uh, Clueless Cyber, Cyber Demon. Uh, do they have lore? Um, he likes to play games, talk crap a lot, and occasionally draw stuff. Currently not anything evil from another dimension that's trying to feed on your soul. Come say hi. And very not not um, biased of me, but absolute cutie. <clears throat> they have they have horns, but they're like mechanical arms. Yeah. Let me see. What does their model and stuff look like? Um, they have a couple of different outfits. Most of them follow a black and red aesthetic, and their hair is blue with the red highlights. Um. 
Yeah. I like their stuff a lot. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I don't have anything else to read off about them. They do some, like, Dark Souls streams and stuff. Elden Ring. Yeah. It looks like they're very into, like, uh... High this was one, story yeah. content and stuff. Yeah. With challenges, so that's cool. I'd smash. Lots of, lots of Soulsborne, uh, Resident Evil, and uh, now with uh, The Last of Us. This next person has been watching me for a while. Um, they're just a soldier from what I've seen. And I can't really say I I can't really say I would smash because their design is just from a game, pretty much, from what I've seen. So yeah, Just stay as friends. Play it safe. Yeah. Uh, next one is uh Sak. Uh, no, not Sakura. This is Chisai. Chisai Kudo. Sakura is also in here, but she's right... Yeah, she's right there. I'll do her next. Yeah. Chisai, she is the angel succubus. And she has one wing as an angel wing, and the other is a succubus, like, bat wing. Which is really cool. I haven't seen that before. And... It's sort of like her her model is split down the middle and they swap uh, different features based on whether it's succubus or angel-like. So... Once in Battle of Seiso and Don't Own Seiso. <laughs> gee, I think one of my favorite design aspects is her halo is uh, only a half ring instead of a full ring. Interesting. And uh, she only has one horn on one side of her head because she's only half. I really like her design. It's really unique and it definitely has... It's sort of like uh, if a VTuber design was made like a cow where it's spotted. <laughs> but instead it's a succubus and angel. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, I like it. I think it's probably one of my favorite designs, so I'll put her at the top. She deserves it. Okay, where is... Sakura... Kuma... Sakura Kuma. This isn't her. Uh, where is she? Again, uh, some of these pictures are on, not in the right aspect ratio, so I can't really make out some of these. That isn't her, is it? No. No dandelion. Uh, here we are, right here, this one. Sakura Kuma. Uh, she's, she's been around for a while. I've been watching her stuff, and apparently she's been watching me. Um, they're a bear demon basically that's all i've seen on her character she doesn't have anything written down or pinned all i know is that they're a cindere i think everybody knows that and also they are a bottom but they don't admit it so yeah that's cool <laughs> <laughs> um, find it hard to admit. i'd say maybe on a good day uh, bratty personalities aren't, aren't always my thing. <laughs> Alright, this next one. Where is this person? Right here. Uh, Swagger Bon Bon. They're a bunny VTuber. A bunny vampire. And they are Futa. Nice. And also they're... They're probably one of the only bunny VTubers I've seen that have actual bucked teeth, like a bunny would have. So, unique down to the bone. <laughs> and their buck teeth are also fangs because they're a vampire. Makes sense. I really like Me. it. It's a simple design. 
it's I don't see any crazy outfit or anything. It's just sort of like a punkish aesthetic mixed with like a school uniform in a way. I like it. Very simple, very nice. I'd say maybe on a good day because I feel like she'd bite. So there you go. See those teeth into you. They're so cute, dry with them. Okay. Uh, next is Alva. I don't know if Alva is still in the chat. But uh, Lady Alva of uh, Beaver, apparently is how you're supposed to pronounce that word. Okay. And Alva is an 8th century Norse lady in England. Which is cool. They sort of have like a very like traditional looking outfit design and everything. I like their art. It's just sort of the woman you'd expect to, you know, be able to use bagpipes or something. And for that, I'd say Smash. Smash those bagpipes. <laughs> Who doesn't like bagpipes? Alright, next. Uh, where... I think their name is Mithra. I could be wrong though. Right here. Yeah, Mithra Tsukiyaki. Unique name. Tsukiyaki. It's like moon and autumn put together. It also sounds like Tsukiyaki, which is the food. So that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, uh, they Same. are a goddess. And it looks like they're a wolf goddess. And they also have heterocarmia. That's a plus. And they're very buff. That is also plus. Yes. They have silver hair, silver grayish hair, and they also wear a gigantic, like, weight around their neck, like a giant collar that she snapped out of. And it looks like she also has uh, nine tails, like the folklore and everything, which is really cool. I like it. I feel like she'd kick my ass if I didn't put her at the top, so there you go. <laughs> Fit people always stand on the top. Fitness is everything to me. And I feel jealous whenever I see somebody who has muscle. Aaron. Okay, next person here. Where are they? Crap. There's a couple of VTubers in here that look like this. Which one is it? Um. Aha, right here. Uh, Shij. Oh, thank you, uh, Mitsuri, for the f subscription. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Um. Okay, this next person is uh, Shij. Which is like CJ. Okay. Uh, they are a demon mechanic streamer from Ireland. North Ireland. That's interesting. I don't know how many mechanic VTubers, but that's cool. They look like they're a cyborg. And yeah, they have horns and everything. Uh, their outfit is very reminiscent of a mechanic's uniform but it also has sort of like a demon lord aesthetic to it. The boots are nice and unique. I like it. I'd like to see more on their lore, but for now, I think, yeah. I'd say a good day. Yeah. Pretty well-rounded. Yeah, this next person, uh, where doth thou? Oh, goodness. Uh, crawl. Um, Weed Demon is their name. I think it's quite straightforward what they are. Um, <laughs> yeah. They're a demon, and also their design has a lot of horns. And, yeah. 
would you say they're horny? Yeah. <laughs> it looks like the content they do is varied. I see some like seven days to die stuff mixed with like um regular sort of like commentary stuff. I guess yeah, it's well rounded. I don't know if I'd be too interested in the weed aspect of it, but I'd say a date would be fine. Okay, next up on the list is roll right here. Uh, Shawango, Shawango. I don't know who people. I don't know how people get these names. It's insane. Shawingo. Shaw Shawingo. Yeah, just just call him Shaw. Shaw. Yes. Um a VTuber from a realm called Thur Theramos. I'm okay. Do they have lore? No. I don't, know. I don't see anything. Um, but yeah. Okay, hold on. They have a link tree. Maybe they have some lore here. Nope. Never mind. So yeah, from what I see, their design's relatively simple. Nothing too crazy. They have a halo, and they also have a crown. Uh, yeah. I'd say they fall right in the middle. Okay, this next person is um Myri. Um they are a hare, not a bunny. Cool. <laughs> um looks like they're a, a VTuber mama, is what it looks like. Um, it looks like they are also French, I think. I'm assuming, based on the language, I'm pretty sure that is French. Actually, no, that might be Spanish. I can't tell. I can't tell if it's Spanish or French. Um, <laughs> Give me a second, I'll take a look. Commentase acho pasta na imagum. It might be Spanish. Is it the Spanish or the French that use de for on or of? Crap. I don't know what language they speak. Um. Usually I, t usually I can tell, but I don't know if they're speaking a dialect that I don't know. But yeah, they seem pretty active. I think the language barrier would get in the way. <laughs> that's that's true. But I like their design. It's really simple. The colors are nice, and the outfit stands out. So I'd say they stand right in the middle. This next one, I've spoke to only a couple times. Okay. Vitibus B BR, it, it has BR, and yeah, that is of the Spanish thing, so I get the feeling that it might actually be Portuguese. Probably. And probably make more sense, Portuguese is pretty much a mix of the two. Yeah. Where is Shoga? Shaga. I don't know if it's Shoga or Shaga. I think it's Shoga. Uh, Shoga is a goddess monster girl that loves art and true crime. Pretty nice. Um, their art is also very nice. Lots of purple. And also the same thing as Mithra. It has that gigantic like collar thing on it. And apparently the chains and stuff hold up her outfit as well. So that's cool. I've only spoken to them a couple times, but they seem pretty cool. And yeah. Uh, I see BR is Brazilian, so yeah, it is Portuguese. 
But yeah, that is Shoga. Really cool. Their hair is also tentacles, so that's a plus. And what smash? All right. Uh, next is. Let me scroll down here. Where doth thou be? Uh, I don't know how to pronounce their name. Uh, it's C H A C H E. So Chachi, Chache, Chesh, Chesh. I don't know. They don't. They didn't put any pronunciation or anything in their bio, so I'm just gonna say it however I want. But they are a yokai VTuber, and their stuff looks really nice. Sort of similar to Midori, they have sort of like a bodysuit looking outfit with uh, pink accents. Their hair is purple with some pink accents as well. Um, I don't see any crazy lore or anything. They seem like just a regular, pretty well-rounded VTuber. I like it. I'll say they fall right in the middle. Um, Finn. Oh, wait, no. Who's this? Oh, they're the one that submitted the notebook drawing. Matt Guy 17. Um, Matt Guy. Um, you don't have any art or lore. I can't really rank you on anything, so I think staying as friends is the best for it. I can't even make out some of the details or anything okay next I didn't even put you two together that's convenient um, Leon I feel like they should stay in the same tier I feel like if you get one you get the other that's a package combo I feel like I take more advantage of Leon's cooking than anything else. So, I don't think I'd be too intimate. I'd just be needy for food. Beast. <laughs> Beast. <laughs> for the food. <laughs> for the gnomes. Everything for the gnomes. Leon, what would you cook me? What do you think is a meal that fits me? I want to judge you based on what you think I would like. Might take a minute or so because the stream rollback is bad. Yeah. Anyway. I get the feeling it's like two to three minutes. I'm back. I'm all come back. I'll come back. Sorry, I was absent. I'm still in laundry. <laughs> As you knew. Gotta be done. I'm just waiting on a response from Leon. Leon. I hope Leon's still here. <laughs> oh. There we go. Um, I would make you a fresh sorbet with mint leaves. Oh boy, Leon. <laughs> It could have been worse, but I'm not a big fan of mint unless it's gum. But I do like lava cakes and honey. Lava cakes and honey are nice. Chocolate is my favorite sweet. Anything involving chocolate is really nice. I like the bitter chocolate a lot too. <laughs> But yeah, I'd say uh, for the mint, you go down to wood smash. 
It's just because of that. <laughs> no, they're but... Asian. <laughs> Leona, Leona doesn't cook, though. What does Leona do? She's sort of just like a big Vibe. sis character. <laughs> I don't know if I'd feel good smashing her because it's sort of like a big sister kind of personality. I feel like she's too kind. I feel like Leona would be better for a date. Yeah. Yeah, I made my choice. Leona would chill, go to the movies, chat shit, and then Leon uh, cook me some horrible mint thing that I act like I really enjoy, and then we'd smash. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, this next person is, um, the Bread Knight. Pal Delta. They are Bread Ninja Butler Knight. Okay. Their design, uh, it kind of just looks like Detective Conan if they were a ninja. It has like a lot of 70s style with it and also their eyes are drawn differently on both sides i think that was a mistake <laughs> but i like it uh some details on their clothes seem to be missing but that's fine i'd say uh just keep it out of date nice Okay, this next person, who are you? Where are you? Oh my gosh, I can't find them. Where are they? Ah, here we are. They are uh, Kenpachi Elric. They have been around. I don't know why, but I keep seeing them seep into some comment sections of anything I'm on, so. Okay, um. What are they? Scorpion, Scorpion Alchemist, apparently. Um. They don't have too much art from what I see. Okay, here we go. They have a uh, sort of like a uh, green and purple design. Um, the colors are very vibrant, and they also have like a scythe and everything with like a skull on the end of it. Pretty cool. Um, I feel like the colors are a bit much, but that's just my personal preference. Uh, the outfit's very unique. The, the scars are a plus, and also eye patch with white hair. Nice, nice. Um, I'd say you fall right in the middle. Nothing too crazy. Base, base. Okay, uh, next. This person's all the way at the bottom. Um, uh, Vivi. Um, they are soon to debut. They are a cat witch VTuber. And she accidentally fell into her pot of potions and turned into the Vivi of today. Cool. Their uh, art is very simple. It's sort of like, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's sort of like those old like poster card aesthetics where it's only like one color per each where they layer paper on top of one another. I really like it. And yeah, I don't have any gripes or anything. I feel like they fall right in the middle. I want to see more lore though. I feel like it'd be nice. Um, Agma Von Sect is this next person. They are a dragon daddy of a streamer looking to entertain and have some fun. Um, do they have any more lore? No, I don't see any. They have, uh, horns, sort of like yellowish eyes with like, uh, beige sort of pupils. Uh... I don't really know what's on their body. It's sort of like a rock, sort of scale-like thing, I guess. I guess they're scales. And uh, yeah, uh, nothing crazy. Their outfit's sort of typical. It's just like a, a cloak and then wraps for the arms and stuff. I like it. 
Nothing too crazy. I feel like they fall right in the middle. Nice. Nice. This next person, I really like their outfit a lot. And also they wear glasses, which is like nice. And glasses are everything. So let's see. Where are they? Trying to find them. Why can't I find them? Where? Um. Okay, here we go. Uh, say Yoon's. Say Yoon's. Uh, don't know. Looks like they do music stuff though. Piano stuff. They play an instrument. Nice. Oh, they they play piano. I'm not gonna explain that. <laughs> okay. Piano is a theater instrument. It shall not be. If you're a VTuber and you play an instrument, you're instantly S tier. That's just how it works. Uh, next one is uh, Cass Coons. Um, they. I don't know what they do. Yeah, I don't know their lore. Hey, they play a piano. They're good with their fingers. No, this person doesn't play the piano. As far as I know. Oh, I'm just saying in general. Um. As a throwback. Yeah, I don't know what they do. Um. I guess I'll just rank them based on their design. It's... Usually the safest bet. <laughs> Yeah, nothing generally. nothing really unique stands out to me. It's sort of just like if you took your actual self and just made it drawn. I don't feel like anything here is standing out to me. I guess the best I can say about it is that it follows the same sort of color palette, which is what I can more than most VTubers, I feel. I'd say they fit. Yeah, they're just friends. Next person. They submitted a picture from a video game. Like a screenshot of their Final Fantasy character or something. I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> um. Would you call it lazy? Uh. I know a lot of people can't really afford art. That's fine, but I would have preferred like I would have preferred some. Well, they have art. They just decided to submit the game picture instead. Why? I don't know. For the mean. For, them, I guess. For the mean purposes, probably. Um. What are they? They. They didn't say anything. They don't. I don't even know what class they are in the game that they play. So, um, yeah, uh, friends. Next person, uh, Klim a la Vanille. This person is most definitely French. I know this is French. This is not Portuguese. <laughs> um, name definitely sounds like. Uh, I can't read their stuff, so I can't really say whether they have lore or not. I can't read their profile. Do they not so, have a translate button to the bio? No? Um, it says they're a water goddess, but that could be wrong for all I know. I'll believe yeah. it, though. But considering they are a fellow water streamer... What's their base? How do you smash water? <laughs> this next person I forget their name I need to find them here we are uh, Kanika uh, she is a kitsune and it looks like they have, it looks like they have two designs but I don't know if that's another design or if that's just 
uh, somebody else. Um, their design's very simple, very nice though. It looks good. like they do a lot of VR content stuff. But yeah, neat. I'll just put them in the middle. Uh. Next, who doth this be? Uh, Shadow Wolf Games. Small VTuber that loves streaming on Twitch and wants to build a community. Um, but what are you? I don't see anything. Uh, it looks like you're just a wolf. And they have like a, a orange palette and everything. At least they follow one palette again. But I'd say they just fall into like a day at most. Nothing crazy. Next. It's fun, but effective. I know this person. It is Mili. Where is your bio? Let me scroll. Okay. Right here. Ali. Uh, no, it's not Mili. I mixed the two names together. Uh, oh. Uh, I don't know if it's Ali or Ali. I think it's Ali. Uh, Mikito. TTV. Cool. It also looks like they're. They have two names. One of them is Watame, so I don't know which one is which. I don't know at all. It looks like they have. Okay. I don't know your name based on your profile. Uh, I would fix that. Overall, though, really nice design. Really fluffy. I like the eyes. It's heterochromia. That's a plus. Uh, the hair is blue with some like pink strands. So it doesn't have much a highlight, but it's like just strands in between. I like that. I'm not too sure what these ornaments are on your hair, but I see that part of your hair is braided. That's cool. And it looks like you wear just casual clothing, like a sweater and stuff. I'd say you fall right in the middle. Nothing crazy, but yeah, it's nice. Okay, next person. Who is this? This is... Um, right here. Uh, Tet. They are a male Babaniku cat. So they are like me, and they're a cat VTuber. They have a very simple design. Uh, brown hair, green eyes, and a purple outfit with white. So, they follow a consistent palette, and also they have a lot of cleavage and shoulder. That's a plus. And the sleeves over overhang, and that's nice. I really like that. The shoes are also very unique. It's sort of like stilts in a way. I like that. I'd say this goes well well into the middle. I would like some lore. Well, it definitely does help. Yeah. I guess what I'm learning from this is that lore does a lot to build your character. Yeah. It, it definitely does. gives you something to go off. <laughs> yeah. It also makes your character a lot more likable because people are able to make their own stories out of it. Pretty much. Where is this person? Um. Fox, I'm guessing? Yeah, they look like a fox. Let me see, where are they? But sometimes you can get a fox and a wolf mixed up. Someone made, someone called me a wolf the other day. I'm like, I'm definitely not a wolf. Bionic <laughs> Caliber is their name. My name is Bionic. I am a wolf VTuber and I like to play a variety of multiplayer games. They don't have anything else listed. Their design's pretty simple. Looks like they have several different outfits that they wear, including a maid outfit. Nice. The one in this picture is just like a basic uh, business shirt. Their hair and everything is blue. And their eyes are blue. Very simple. Have no gripes. They go in the middle. Nice. Next is this 
person, I think they're also a wolf spirit thing. Kitsune. That looks like cotton candy. If I'm not mistaken. Definitely looks like someone I know. Koji. Oh, it's Koji. I know Koji. Koji. Why is their design so different now? Okay. Um, looks like they are just a Kitsune deity. They have heterochromia, they have like the mask detail and everything. Their outfit's very colorful, but very Japanese as well. Nice. Very nice. I don't really have any gripes. That's Yeah, it's exactly as you named it. I would like more lore, so you're gonna end up in the middle as well, but I like it. Okay, next is... I saw this person near the bottom. Where are they? Hmm. Where, where, where? Where, oh where, oh where is Wally? Where, where? Ah, oh, here we are. Uh, Haven. Haven, um, they're a Femboy VTuber, um, they don't have a lot of lore, they don't have anything listed about what their character is, <clears throat> it just sort of just looks like a, a fallen angel kind of, I'm guessing, it has like a lot of goth aesthetic with the black and white with uh, handcuffs and uh, purple eyes, I like it. I don't have any gripes, but there's literally no lore for me, so I'll just have to keep it out of date. Because I have no idea what your character is. Always oh, missed a line on a date. <laughs> next, I'm pretty sure everybody knows who this is. It is Yume, Koseki Yume. Yume, mm. is, where is your lore? Yume? I don't, don't think Yume has any lore, actually. Okay, I'm about to DM her on Discord. <laughs> you man, you can't, you can't be this big of a VTuber and not have anything to go off of for lore. What? I, I'm pretty sure that's the case. I'm pretty sure that's the case. They don't have anything. Nothing in their bio even. There is pretty much uh, nothing. <laughs> I don't. You really got nothing to work with, do you? I was talking about it with her once, but she said there isn't really anything. Maybe they haven't gotten around to it yet. That yeah, could be. Though she did have her debut, so. Yeah. If there was going to be any lore, there should have been there. But uh, I was also streaming while she was having her debut, so I couldn't actually drop by. Maybe she did a visual debut. I mean, visual lore. She's offline. Okay, well, I don't think she'll respond. Well, it is. For her, it should be like 3 a.m., so. Oh, uh, crap. Yeah. Don't forget, I'm oh. here at 4 a.m. for me. You, man. You failed me. And because you don't have any lore, you're going in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next is. I like that person. Smash everyone. It's just a broad spectrum. Yeah, it's a spectrum of how hard you'd smash is the thing. Next yeah. is uh, Alistair Thorne. They are V Storyteller and begrudgingly Bunny v Butler. Okay. I don't see much art. Except for the stuff they gave me. Their stuff's pretty cool. Um, they have sort of like... Their outfit sort of reminds me of the anime White Album. It's the jacket and like the scarf and like the weird like Christmas cardigan. I like it. The eye color is very nice and yeah. At least they stay consistent. 
And they're also a butler VTuber, that's cool. There you go. Smash. One second. All right. Um, next person. We're back. Yeah, my family interrupted me. Where? <laughs> this person is right here. Uh, Colech. Colech. Unique name. Um. They have no lore. Oh, man. Um, a just a casual gamer hanging out the arcade, bringing good vibes. It's, you know what their design is? It's the main character from, uh, what's that anime that just aired? That rom-com. Which one? It's really popular. It's like one of the biggest mangas. Crap, it's you gonna mean... bother me now. You mean my Jesse Darling? It was... Um... How did I forget it? Um... Yeah, we'll... What is the name of the show? What in the world? I keep seeing. <laughs> Captain Shar. Um. Okay, they don't have lore either. Um. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Well, it looks like they're like. I don't know if they're a fox or a wolf or if they're just a cat. I can't tell. Um. Their hair is silver with like pink highlights and everything, green eyes, uh, black outfit, nothing crazy. Um, I think they just fall right in the middle. Again, no lore. Write your lore. At least something. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. It can be a line. Okay. Next is... Um, I saw them earlier. Where are they? Where are they? Crap, where are they? Good question. Right here. Uh, Silla smiles the silly hyena. They're a hyena VTuber. Um. I'll laugh at all your jokes. Probably. Um. Okay. I don't see much lore outside of that, but at least they provided what animal they were. And their outfit. I'm not really sure what their outfit is. It, the art they sent me, it's not really drawn to detail. It's just, sort of just like a colored sketch. But the, the colors are unique. Um. I would like to see colors that follow more of one palette, but yeah, I like it. I'd say they fall right cool. in the middle. Coolio. Okay, next is... Um... Where... 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 Right here. Uh, Storytime John. They are a deer person, it looks like. I'm assuming. They wear glasses. It looks like they, they're just like a very book-orientated streamer. That's a plus. 
and okay. yeah they do story time playthroughs so probably story based games is what i'm assuming um i would like more detail but overall i'm just glad that their character isn't female with horns or antlers rather because i've seen too many female D deer vtubers that have antlers and i'm like you don't know your anatomy too well but that's fine <laughs> but yeah yeah i'd say you fall in the i'd say you fall right between wood smash and maybe on a good day i feel like you're well-rounded nice uh next i Ooh, wonder who this could be <laughs> Can't find your profile. Hold on, here we are, Mr. Penguin. It's me. But are you a penguin, though? Well, law-wise, no. It's a name. <laughs> um, I was born amongst the night elf clans and got separated from them at an early age. Founded, founded by a group, not found by a group. English. I'm gonna dock you points for that one. <laughs> Found by a group of foxes, I learned that I had the ability to shapeshift into a fox. Okay, so it's like a raised by rule, raised by wolves situation. Um, yeah, it's it's a work in progress. Ability to help. Uh, okay, so you're nature based basically. Um, and you also hanged around penguins. How in yes. the... I want to know how in the world you got from somewhere where there's wolves or foxes to somewhere where there's penguins. Not, not, not foxes. Because there is an island that actually has foxes and penguins on it. Okay. I've actually read about it, so... Yeah. Okay. I like <laughs> more written out lore, but we have lore. Your design's yeah, it... relatively simple. And it looks like your outfit is monotone with sort of kind of a blue tint. I am you cannot thank for that. <laughs> you have a heterochromia. She's really, she's done really well on my model. Shout out. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing to gripe. You have lore. I would like to see it more uh, written out. More refined, yeah. I'm gonna re rewrite, re rewrite it. <laughs> yeah. This person, Kitsura. They're a pretty small VTuber, but Jesus, their art is pretty. I can't really describe how complex and well put together at the same time their outfit is. But it's basically like a kimono mixed with like Western dress, sort of. It's and it's like it's very long it's green nice. sleeves for like a maiden sort of sleeves. And I don't know how many tails they have. I think it's five, but they have like pink tails and pink hair. And their outfit sort of follows the same pink and purple aesthetic, with the sleeves being like an emerald green. I would like to see their lore. They are a sect master and fox rider VTuber. They are a writer. Oh crap. Bonus points. <laughs> Bonus points. Same thing as playing the piano. They write. <laughs> Good with their fingers. <laughs> Okay, next is... Don't lose yourself on mic already. <laughs> next is Duke AMV. It looks like they make music videos and stuff on YouTube, from what I think. Um, it looks like they have like a cyberpunk aesthetic and stuff. That's cool. Um, I don't see too much. But they have a couple different outfits and stuff. One of them's like a business casual, like black outfit. But yeah, outside of that, the purple hair, the like light lavender hair with like a yellow and red eyes, really cool. 
I would like to see more lore that. written out, especially with like the world, because I feel like the world would be really interesting. But yeah, I like it. I love that my name's just scrolling along the bottom as the recent subscriber. Since yes. showing my name. <laughs> it's like I exist. It's actually different, but it didn't update. There you go. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, Meet City subscribed. Yeah. <laughs> I was I was uh, drawing my name down there. That's fine. Get my name out of the limelight for a while. Why not? Um, next is we still have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 18 left, from what it seems. Okay. Um, this is. This is the story of a girl. Where are they? Um, oh, right here. Um, Vaga. Vaga. Oh no, it's another one of these it's a names. Name to say. <laughs> Vagativus. Vagav Vagativus. Vagativus. Probably, I don't know. Uh, they are a demon lord that reigns over the sloth part of purgatory. Cool. Spill it out, it'll work. Hey, okay. It looks like they do art and stuff, and their art's pretty decent. I don't see a lot of their own character, but yeah, it's cool. Their design follows sort of three colors, which at least they have a palette, but it's still very much the same as before with vibrant colors, but that's my own preference. But I like it. It's unique and also the spikes are awesome. So yeah. I think they'll go right next to the other person who had a very bright design. Where are they? Jeez. It's like... It's like trying to make out 5 pixels and 5,000. Where? That is very much pain. I think they're in here. I'll assume they are. I'm definitely seeing someone coming up that I yeah. am well okay. aware of. Well, this is Chisame, or Chiyu. I've known them for a good amount of time now. Where oh, is man. your account at? Um, trying to find her. I know they do, like, cinematography and stuff, which is cool. Yeah, it looks like they also do racing stuff now, which is nice. Um, they're a musician as well. I don't know what music they do though. But yeah, it looks like they're just like a cat VTuber. They wear glasses. Most of their outfits are like the made-ish outfits and stuff. That's pretty cool. I don't have any particular gripes. I've known them for a while. The glasses are a plus. I smash. All right, next. This person sent me like the most low res image I could see, and honestly, I don't know what it is. It just sort of looks like a character from uh, Mega Man. <laughs> it's mean, unique, color, color, but color. it's unique. But I have no idea what they do for streaming. They don't have any lore written down at all. But yeah, okay, cool. Um. I think this will stay right here. It's the same thing as the person that took a picture of their game character. Okay, next is... Oh, Kit the Kitsune. Yeah, another Kitsune. Where? Yeah, Kit the Kitsune. Um... They're a fox girl. I don't see any lore. Um... Yeah, there's no lore. But yeah, their design's cool. 
I would like to see some different outfit designs because the one I see in this image, it's it contradicts your character's other colors a bit, but possible that they have their um, outfits in their server as well. There's yeah. a few different images and stuff in there. Overall, though, without the outfit involved, uh, the black accent on the orangish red hair is nice. I like it. I would like to see more lore, definitely. I think you fall really snugly in the middle. Um, where is this one? I saw this earlier. Where? Right. Uh, Kane Upsilon. They are a homunculus and headmaster of Upsilon Alchemy Academy. Teacher VTuber. That's a mouthful. Um, they play they play Genshin Impact. Oh dear. Okay. <laughs> you go in the middle. Not a bad game, but it's yeah. maybe on a good day. Genshin Impact is a red flag. Always keep it in mind. This next person, I don't know if they're in chat, but they were here a bit. <laughs> they were here uh, last stream. This is Floof. Are you here, Floof? Um, they don't have any lore written down right off the bat, but... Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there's no lore or anything I can read, but they're sort of just, uh, I think, yeah, they're just a wolf or a kitsune. I'm assuming wolf. But yeah, they have the piercings and everything. The From what I've seen of their outfit, it all follows one consistent palette, which is really nice and pleasant. But yeah, really cute. I like it. Again. A lot of people don't have lore. That's why they fall sort of in the middle. Um, this next person. Um, I think they have two avatars. Which is unique. It's probably really expensive though. But it looks like they have a regular form and then like a transformed form. And oh, they're also a Kitsune. I also have an elf, I have an elf um, model as well. <laughs> yeah, they are a pub cook, it looks like. Um, but yeah, they're a Kitsune hiding in plain sight. And yeah. Uh, use magic to hide my tails and ears so I can work on Earth. I'm an affiliate. And, okay, I'm mostly playing on PS4. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, they have two different forms, and they they stay consistent. They don't change dramatically or anything. But yeah, uh, nothing too crazy. I'd say they fall right in the middle. I would like to see them like work on their character lore and everything, and see what they could do. This next person, um, Stake. Um, yeah, their name's Steak. They look like a mushroom, it looks like. <laughs> so, all kinds of, um, confusing. Yeah, they're just a memer. Um, I think, yeah, I don't think I need to explain that one too much. <laughs> um, this next person, where are they? Right here. Okay. Right off the bat. Change your name, please. <laughs> the D34DH34D. I don't really know if you could get far with a name like that, but I'd be surprised. <laughs> follow account. <laughs> I think... Uh, oh, it's supposed to be Deadhead. But I guess they wrote it like they're playing Xbox 360. I guess. Good on you. It's in semi-lit. 
Oh yeah, they're definitely okay. like they're definitely at that age where they used to play on 360 and they thought it was cool because uh, literally I scroll down and it's just uh, them talking about Call of Duty. Oh god. Yeah. Okay. I think I mean, we should just name, stay as friends. Yeah, that whole Xbox name too. I guess. The XX, you know. <laughs> uh, you, you wouldn't you wouldn't know unless you asked me though. No. I mean it's a it's a nod to Xbox names, but Oh no. Uh, it, I, I thought it was unique. <laughs> it's just like, yeah. I don't know many VTubers who are like literally just carry on their Xbox 360 name. Like Deadhead is definitely just like it sounds like an Xbox 360 gamer tag. Like I've definitely made, made some headway with the. I've definitely made some headway with my name, so it's, it's definitely worked for me. Autumn Mozilla. I really hope they didn't I hope they didn't choose Mozilla based on Firefox Mozilla. Because <laughs> Firefox Mozilla. Be <laughs> but that's that's why this is a problem. Did you know the Firefox on the Firefox logo is not a fox? What is it? It's a red panda. That's what Firefox oh. is. Firefox was originally a charity started for the Red Panda preservation in China. And Red Actually. Panda in Chinese is Firefox. Ooh. And so Firefox, Mozilla Firefox, which I hope they didn't choose their name based on that, is not actually a fox. <laughs> but I, I don't think they knew that. But anyways, I'm assuming they're supposed to be a fire fox or just a fox. On, on that note, I, w I am supposed to be getting a penguin model eventually. <laughs> it's just, nice. it's just, 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 it's just not in the um, cards at the moment, but yeah. it is planned. But yeah, it's they are a nine-tailed kitsune, and it looks like yeah, they're based all around autumn. Their design reminds me a lot of Hollow from Spice and Wolf, and I like that. It follows the same sort of color palette and everything. They have uh, fishnets. Uh, the really nice cross-strapped boots and stuff. Uh, consistent, like, they have roses in there as a hair ornament and, like, a reef sort of thing. And, yeah, it's neat. Like we're, a, we're a panel judging people. <laughs> I like it. I don't see much lore, uh, but I like their design. I like the colors. I like all the colors. Although the... The collar and the leg strap being pink and white throws me off a lot. <laughs> I'm pretty sure when they're laying in your bed, it won't matter. Okay, <laughs> next. True, that's true. I'm sure they won't be wearing it at that stage. Yes. Next is... This person. Where are they? Right, LB Boxus, LB Boxus. Their their design looks very like Yu-Gi-Oh esque. Yeah, it is very Yu-Gi-Oh esque. They have a lot of like sketch stuff, and their outfit is green and blue, and then their hair is like a burgundy red. Yeah, none of their colors like fit together at all. It's sort of the same thing as like the 90s aesthetic like this guy has. So I'm going to put them together. And let's keep it out of date. Next is an angel VTuber from the looks of it. Right. Lord Lumineer. Uh they put their they put their bio thing in the post. Thank you so much. Jesus. Uh, they are Lord Luminaire, or Lumi. Uh, they are half vampire, one-fourth demon, and half angel. Um, problem with that. That's not how math works. 
So they are. Math wasn't an option. Yeah. Okay. So that doesn't make sense. But oh well. Um, they are a vampire with white feathered wings, with small horns, a demon tail, vibrant blue eyes. Uh, born with incredible power, he is feared by everyone, even his peers. He loves cooking. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. As sort of like their outfit sort of follows like a weird like colonial sort of vibe. But there's nothing crazy about the design except for like the horns and the wings, of course. But yeah, there's nothing to gripe on here. And at least they have some lore. <clears throat> I would like to see more of it though. I think they fall at the top of Good Day. Next is. I think my spot. <laughs> Next is. Uh... Where are they? Uh, Ghost King, Ghost Knight. Um, they're a ghost, and they're also a knight. I guess that's all there is. Description. <laughs> but yeah, cool. There's no lore or anything, so they fall in the middle. Um, next is a... I think they're a hellhound. I think their design is pretty much just from uh, that one thing on YouTube. At one time, at band camp. <laughs> what is that? What is that animation called? Hell of a boss? Yeah. I think their character is literally just the hell of a boss character with a couple details added. I like it, but I'd like to see uh, some more, like, personal personality put into it. The colors are just simple. Nothing crazy. I like it. Simple, but effective. There is no lore, though, so in the same situation. Uh -huh. Like make an effort. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Next is Shin Oni. Uh, they're Oni. Um, they play Valorant. Yikes! Yikes. <laughs> <laughs> and it looks like they have like two forms, or pretty much just one form. Their other form is just a meme picture I put in. That was the made one. Um, they're a hired gun. Uh. They, they're like cyberpunk and Yakuza-esque. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is about it. Their outfit sort of reminds me of like Kamen Rider or something. That's pretty much all I have from it. But at least their stuff follows a one palette. I like it. Hmm... Uh, Yeah, I don't see much lore at all. Dang. Why does nobody have lore? Yes. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> you have the time to get somebody to draw it or draw it yourself. You can, you know, write a line or two about what it is. Yeah, that's true. Okay, next is... Kuki Mitsuri. I wish she didn't have like the weird eye in her name. It throws me off. But oh well. Um, That's but kind yeah. Of just like picking out little things. They're an angel bunny VTuber. Okay, they have the lore written out in one post. That's cool. And Mitsuri is a mythical being that is born on the moon. 
Her father is a moon rabbit, and her mother was an angel that fell onto Earth many, many centuries ago. Her mother, Rabia, was living in a meadow surrounded by lilies and cherry trees when one night during a full moon, a rabbit fell from the sky. Not knowing what to do and thinking that he was dead, my... Okay, there is some errors in the English, but that's fine. There's no full stops or anything, so it's all just like one consistent line of text. She rescued him and flew back, flew him back to his place, the moon to heal him. When that happened, she was unable to return back to Earth, but the small rabbit she saved turned into his human form, Toa. Well, there's a lot of lore, but it isn't written particularly well. But I guess it, they just sort of put a bunch of details down and put it all in one post. But yeah, they have a lot of lore. And I like that. And also the design's really cute. They wear glasses. And they also really consistent palette. Well. I can see them. Yeah. They're here. Well. I like it. Wood Smash. Two more. Okay. Next is The Lucky Lost. <laughs> Next is where doth they be? Right here, uh, Samich, Samich, they are Texan, Mexican, Tex-Mex, they are an Oni, um, artist and graphic designer. I don't see any lore, but I like it. I'm assuming they drew themselves, because, yeah, they drew themselves, because that's their autograph and everything their art's very cool i like it i would like to see more of their outfit but it looks like their outfit sort of follows like a norse sort of style i like it so yeah that's goth there's no lore but respect for doing their own art they'll go up here and... yeah there we go nice Next is my good friend Saki. I had to censor Ultimate her picture. Elite. Saki is a succubus, from what I know. I don't know if she has anything written on her profile. Yeah, Saki Being Nightshade. Stuck. But yeah, they're Alaskan succubus. And she is the only other VTuber I have met so far that is also native Alaskan like I am. She goes to the top for that. <laughs> Just favoritism. For that. No, no bias whatsoever. Let's go. Yep. Another fellow Eskimo. They get to go to the top. I'm I still nepotism. I'm still trying to find more Eskimo YouTubers because we're rare. <laughs> I think we're one of the most Your rare races rate. on the planet now because you know we kind of just got killed off. But yeah, I think this is good. Uh, yeah, I feel strongly about where I put them. You made a lot of good choices. But yeah. Very detailed. Basically. Um, yeah. Moral of the story. Other people have got laws. Moral write of the your story lore. have lore. In <laughs> exactly. Write your lore. Like write your, write lore. your damn lore. And also make sure that you have a lot of different outfits that follow a good palette. Like, handing your stuff off to another artist to, like, edit before you, like, put everything in one spot is very beneficial because they know a lot better than you will. And that's what I did. So that's why my design's really consistent. is because I handed yeah. it to a professional. So, yeah. yeah. Well, also, way out of your price range. <laughs> some of you, I spent nothing for my original design. Because a friend did it. Damn. But it's all about overall, who you know. uh, these people at the bottom here, um, you know, uh, get somebody to make more art for you. Especially people that just took a picture of their game character. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Weird champ. Weird champ. But yeah, um, I don't have any particular gripes. I think all of these creators are pretty good at what they what they do. And I think they have a lot of room to grow, much like myself. 
I'm interested to see more from a lot of these. And also, Yume, how dare you? You betrayed me. I had high expectations for you. But, yeah. But sure that Yumi is literally just eager that decided to become a VTuber, I think. You have Lauren, and it get smashed. Well, you're a crusader. <laughs> ah. I know. You need the... I'd like to see something that's actually drawn, though, and not just the picture. Yeah, just find, like, some freelance artists, because I've found a couple that will just do free stuff. And they're pretty cool. They're chads. Artists that will do stuff for free are chads, because they really that's don't have to. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, overall, I'm happy with where I put everybody. And I don't think I'd change this any. I'll probably do this in the future when people have, like, more development and stuff. I'd also like to get more people in the future to do this again. But yeah. Yeah. And next time I'll probably put the whole lore. Because this time it, it wasn't, you know. <laughs> yes. Because the whole thing is like an entire pose. It's like three like replies long. The whole profile thing that I have made. Yes. But, yep. I think I'm going to end this stream for right now. I'll probably start streaming again here in a few hours. And we'll probably play some Minecraft Survival and continue where we left off last time. But yeah. For now, uh, thank you everybody for dropping by. Thank you Kiza and Penguin for joining me. And of course, of course. No worries. Glad um, to be a part of But yeah, if you want to catch up on any of my content, be sure to go and check out my Twitter, check out my Discord server and everything. And yeah, I hope to see everybody here that was in this list come back again for the next time I do it. And I hope you guys have better lore and more art for me. But yeah. Uh, I will definitely do well. Thank you. And I hope I'll see you guys again. Jana.